Ready and action. Whistles. He says, come over, have a look. You make your move. We're up to here. And just stop there. And then you walk by. OK? And cut. Snowfall, we have a plethora of directors that come in, and it's always a new style, different approach. I like working with different directors. Each one has a completely different flavor. Episodic directors are coming in as guests to an already existing entity, and you feel the signature of that director in each one of these episodes that still feel like a whole. You know, you have some that come in and they want to talk about every single line and they want to play with it. Then you have directors who come in, they have a vision, the second they see it, they're moving on and that's and it. Cut. And not only are they directing, they're fans of the show. And like sports, it's beautiful to be a player and have your coach say, well done. Here's the weird thing. You love every director for a different reason. Like, everybody loves Dan Attias because he's Dan Attias. He's like a legend in the game of directing TV. He's been a bit of part of the golden age that ushered in a new type of filmmaking for this platform of television. Well, it's interesting in television because the story gets passed through different hands. But then they hand it off to the director to become the storyteller. And it's my job to interpret their story. But I have to make it visual. I have to make it properly paced. And I have to realize all the nuances that both the writers and I myself perceive in the material. I'm Logan Kibbins, and I'm directing episode 208 of Snowfall. I've been a mentor to Logan for about five or six years now. She's immensely talented. I've also mentored several other young filmmakers, and there's a very difficult challenge they face breaking in to get that first episodic job. He got me connected with Snowfall, and I'm shadowing him on 201 before I do my own episode on 208. My job in those initial stages is to go through and figure out what all those story beats are, what the arc of the script is for each character, for the overall episode, for how that fits into the season. You know, there's a lot of story that you're serving. Everybody's incredibly prepared, and now we get to be present in the moment and make something together and bring everybody's skills together to make something really cool. These guys genuinely seem collaborative. So I just feel really lucky for that, you know, being my first narrative TV directing experience. There is a director that we worked with on the second episode. His name is Sunu. And he's just got this huge spirit of joy that you feel everybody sort of adopt on set. He just took me aside and he was like, what do you feel about this character? What do you think is going on? And it felt so collaborative. We do a scene, he's like, more. Like, more emotion, this and that. Just, he's really about emotions and things like that. The show obviously is pretty special and I think they've set the bar in, in just doing something that is out the box and interesting. And I love the actors. I mean, I am just absolutely love these actors. It's, you know, working with people at the top of the game. It's a director's dream. It's like this weird mix of, like, TV pros who just know what they're doing and these new voices who come in and have something to prove, but also, like, have some really interesting, unique new ideas that people haven't seen before. It does feel like they're interested in what incoming directors bring in, which I think is cool and, and probably just speaks to the confidence of the show. Everybody has been very respectful and understanding of what a director can bring and what directors take and interpretation does to enhance the material. The cast a bunch of young kids and, and seasoned veterans across the board, so it's just an engaging group of people that are really challenging the stories and really telling them with, with passion.